think uh, organizations will be impacted. I think you're going to start seeing reorganizations of teams as AI really becomes that teammate, that augmenter in an organization. We've heard it before from state CIOs. AI is reshaping government. Now we're breaking down what that means for 2026. Here are the five big stories we're covering in government technology this week. First up, experts forecast AI will become more powerful, more widespread, and more costly in 2026, with autonomous tools acting on our behalf and AI-powered browsers changing how people interact with information. In our top story, we outline what government should be ready for in the coming year. Plus, the 2025 ISC2 Cybersecurity Workforce Study was just released, showing shrinking staff and budgets are raising perceived security risk. At the same time, rapid AI adoption is reshaping job skills demand, highlighting urgent needs for training and retention. And in Seattle, a startup called GovStream AI raised $3.6 million to use AI to speed up local permitting, aiming to reduce wait times and help cities build more housing. Early clients are using the tool to check zoning, flag issues, and automate plan review tasks. Also, a new guide urges state and local governments to ensure data center bills are transparent and protect communities from high energy costs. Recommendations include public disclosure, renewable power use, and strict water conservation measures. Finally, senators introduced legislation to continue the state and local cybersecurity grant program, extending federal dollars that help governments improve security. The bill was sustained support for tools, personnel, and planning originally backed by the Infrastructure Act. That wraps our top stories for the week. But the stories of public sector innovation continue at GovTech.com.